A heartbreaking update for the family of a man reported missing back in April. Kevin Jackson was 33 years old when his family says he disappeared after leaving work. The family says detectives positively identified his remains on Monday. Destiny McKeever is on your side tonight speaking with Jackson's mother and Destiny. She says that detectives are investigating this case as a homicide. Yes, that's right. Veronica Jackson says her son's remains were so decomposed that detectives had to send them over to Orlando for one of the top forensic medical examiners to ID him. She says the family has closure now, but she now wants to see justice. Can't even imagine why anybody would want to hurt him because he's a family man, hardworking, law abiding citizen. Why would anybody want to hurt him? Veronica Jackson has more questions than answers right now as she waits for updates in her son's case. Kevin Jackson was reported missing April 10th, but his wife told detectives he was last seen April 7th, leaving work on Faye Road in Jacksonville. Hard working. It's just like there's nothing that he wouldn't do for anybody. And just like even the people that he worked with, they're devastated by this loss because he was the go-to guy. Veronica is wondering who could have hurt her son. She says detectives told her his body was found by a landscaping crew near I-95 and Broward Road on April 25th. She says five days later, police made another discovery. Well, five days after his body was discovered, they found his car and his car had been set on fire. And they found that April 30th in the 2100 block of 43rd Street. Jackson's wife told First Coast News back in April that he was hanging out frequently at a BP gas station near Sutel Drive. His mother says she has no clue what could have happened to her son, who was described as well-liked. We're going to hold out, wait out, and hope that they get to the bottom of what happened to him. And we did reach out to JSO to ask if they could confirm Kevin Jackson's case was linked to the body found near Broward in 95 in April. A spokesperson responded saying they could not link the two cases and both are still active investigations. If you know what happened to Jackson, as always, we say call police or call Crime Stoppers. In the studio, I'm Destiny McKeever, First Coast News on your side. Destiny, thank you.